Hey everybody, back again, Cotton Candy TA, doing 100 Trades in Review, episode six. And uh, today we're looking at, once again, Confused Trade. That's right, number six, and we're on Confused Trade. Before we get into it, I'm gonna mention Chart Raiders as I always do. It's a project I've been working on for a year and a half now in day trading, it's a day trading software. And um, things are really starting to heat up with it and uh, people are are really loving the idea and we've seen the world reveal and, and everything that it stands for. And you know, Chart Raiders is a platform that takes day traders and educates them, it trains them, it shows, you, you know, we use tools like Chart Doctor in the skill tree to train people and to teach them how to be great traders and trade 100x and, and just basically conquer the markets. People have great results with it and they, uh, they're they really loving chart raiders so far and the, the project is something that I've wanted to create for a long time and it's finally here and uh, running and we're, we're in the alpha. So if you haven't seen it yet, go check out the YouTube channel. It's my other channel, Chart Raiders or the uh, social media, TikTok, Instagram, Twitter, all that at Chart Raiders. But um, that aside, let's get into the trade. All right, so currently I'm looking at 27,657. Looks like we've got the um, same. One, this one hour origin creation right here for a long on Bitcoin. Area that we um, just like to confuse last trade, maybe? Maybe this is like so a back to back trade. It's trying to hold this five at the moment. So, this, so it hit this five in the past, trying to hold this guy with the 15 minute trend. So I think the first thing I would say is if, if you hit this five and hold it here, like you're in a great spot. I think if the five holds, obviously you're you're ripping up quite, quite large here. But I, I will say it looks like it might target something um, a little deeper here, but we'll, we'll right see. Here, guy, this origin creation. Um, the reason I like this level is because you hit the break level on the hourly. And then you can also just create this as a trend here. Yeah, I don't disagree um, with that. I think that's that's kind of nice how he's engineering this. Rejection right here. So you have daily hold. And then the weekly rejection. I wouldn't um, take the weekly so the into too much consideration here because it can would be hit today, tomorrow, the next day. Level. It's got seven days it to hit. So, to up. so uh, too big of a time frame for me personally. Is, like, yeah, it, this is exactly where it can continue to move up, but it also sets it up to move down in the future. So I, I, I always like to look for setups like that where you have like that confluence where it kind of, if it doesn't hold 657, like it, it's the whole thing is just going to collapse because yeah, polarity, tested. right? Creating polarity. There are always great spots level, to trade polarity. I know that in the future it's capable of breaking it down, which is a really cool thing. There's something about those setups that just, yeah, that just really pops to me every time I see them. And yeah, so for 657, so the goal of this level, the way that I see this right now, so you need to hit this break level in the hourly step one, like that needs to be hit. So it's holding a 15 minute origin up top right now. You have an hourly up here. So the goal of this origin and hitting this break level is to, at, at a minimum, attack the top of this range. You know, like you've got a bunch of compounding data like exiting. this. I do like to like um, any inverse level that hit, hit larger targets on the bottom side before I start um, because taking longs. Because if this longs. level does indeed hit, it should go for it at a minimum, this break level. So yeah, you should be looking at like... Yeah, Sometimes even going to, to an extreme range is the, the appropriate cool play. Probably take profit though, to be honest. But yeah. We'll if you don't have entry on this really five, you can take entry if it hits again like one or two more times and sits there against that. But let's uh, let's see what happens. There's that hourly he was talking about. Looks like so far he's engineered this to perfection. Like he I just walked I think, away for a second. All I right, think that's in, the the level the, that he uh, wanted to create the trend on. Yeah, it is. So that's yeah, perfect. my stop is quite tight on this trade as well because it it, it shouldn't really go too below too too much below this level. It's going to create trend. It You're going to create the hold and the move. This like is a perfect trade by Confuse move. so far. So yeah, if you know being in this trade, you want to avoid that. But the test is quite perfect. What do you have here? Create your trend. So use again, it as a shield. Adios. Let this so thing ride up. So my goal with this trade is just to take it to not yeah, quite, but it would be a good initial way to think about it. Here, ideally the break level, but the origin is like a spot that it could possibly stop at. And it's also 100%. And the distance between that and the break is not significant, really. I mean, it's like 8%. So yeah, not too I agree. worried. I'd rather just be filled um, if it shoots up there. My stop, yeah. My stop's very Like, I wonder tight. at this point, you um, measure how much profits right you have right level. now. You just take um, take profits if you uh, don't gain yeah, this five-minute level though. right in front I mean, of you. You really here. don't have anything to stop it. Like, this this level's tested. This range is tested. The five-minute level 15, is about to hit right now. 15, I would, like, I almost wonder if you just take profits there. Maybe. I doubt it. I don't really think I'd use that. I kind of don't like that. It there i don't know if i'd really consider that a tested level but it's like where that range is yeah i think um yeah almost there right now my initial target for this guy so what i'll end up doing likely is when this thing kind of develops more like it actually has like some levels backing it and protecting it i'll just move my stop into profits anytime i get a knife catch especially one like this where you have this huge wick up and then you have like the level here to protect it um i try not to let this thing come back down and like possibly you know stop me out like i don't want to be on the losing side of the trade at that point so yeah no i think you're clear here to, to move quick. up i think i think staying in this trade was right First whether 15. i would have exited on a five minute level i think i would have considered that, that. that i don't know if i would have so actually pulled that trigger but if it does stop up here I like honestly this, this is developing out. so nicely 
You've got big time so frames with there, huge though. distance 85. between them. You've got actually might go reverse fifteen here. Ninety yeah, percent. Yeah, I, yeah, I, I don't mind the reverse fifteen. Eighty six percent profits. Profit. Yep. All right. So another thing I've done is I went ahead and moved my stop into profits now. So I can't lose on this trade. That's good. Good. Um, good. It's a no lose trade. Walk away. Yeah. This is an important Come thing. Come back I a millionaire. Do, Kidding. Um, you can't do that. Don't don't do that. It's not a cotton candy to us. And that was unofficial on to adapt to stop loss. And it's like you're off a trade like this one. And let's just say it could reject in a fast way, and you've got lower levels, of course. Um, Unless you do it and it works really just, well, and you make a ton of money, then like send me you your contract, sole lose. contract, or half of it. If anything, you misidentified the target. Yeah, I'm gonna take it to the 15. I just think the 15 actually makes a lot of sense to me because, yeah, it should go for the break level, but it can stop here. There it goes. So, like, it's a 15 minute level. Perfect. Me. It did not. Oh, maybe he didn't get filled. Maybe he went for the body. Come on. Push up. Looks like he's not filled yet. Oh boy. It should have filled me on Maxi. What a but pickle of a situation, bit. huh? All right, yeah. I actually Kidding. just, um, I went ahead and flash pulls right there because if this next candle opens blue and it pulls back, then it just like, he you flash know, you're only paying See, I hate fee. that. So, uh, I it, hate it, it that the level when you on, have to do that. It's not track, always so, the wrong decision, but I hate it um, when I'd you rather just miss just, your target so, like this. Like uh, it yeah, happens I'd rather just leave, take the 2% fee, then it just pull back and I lose a lot more. I, um, I I agree every, with yeah. everything he's saying um, there too. I, like, was my I hate having to flash close. Pressing that, that button feels like death. Kind of thinking about it multiple ways. But um, like sometimes you're not left with the choice. This, you just have to like, swallow you know, that couple percentage. Again, I think fee. you're going to go for that break level. I think that's what it should target. However, if there's something that I could stop at beforehand and not go for its true target, I would say it would be this 15 reverse right here. Yeah, great, uh, great, 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 um, great like assessment by Confused here. Great, great entry. I don't mind his flash close in this trade you know he's a 30 a minute trade so it is more so of a scalp it's trade to, um you know on a knife catch like this lock up profits at, at the thing that really could reject it in a big way i agree rather I than agree. just go for like the extra 20 like that there's a time and place for position and um and, and um, swing trades and sometimes when you see the move develop yeah, i mean like, i'd rather well, get out with 85 instead of like 30 percent yeah great you know, great trade this thing like rips back down to like the the re-entry down here or something like that but yeah it's still still i'm still with the uh the one hour as so I will talk about this for a second point. here. Wait till um, he gets back to his next time frame here. For this trade and what I expected to hit at a minimum. But yeah. So like what I like about his flash close exit is it opens his relongs for business. You cannot relong the trade if you're using them as triggers. So that's something I'd like to talk about for a second. I think a lot of people, they they use triggers in trades, like trigger points to get out of trades, not realizing that those triggers are also re-entry points. Like we saw that, I believe, on the very first video that we did in the series where Jude had a one minute re-entry point. He used it as his exit when really that, that should have been the trigger to leave the trade. Losing that level should be the trigger, but it also will bounce the trade. So I think, you know, a lot of times when we have these trades, these trigger points people are using are often often better as re-entries and you exit your trade on the first level of resistance and you use the re-entry because the amount of times the charts move up and then back down to hold their targets it's like it's uncanny right so I think that's like a really important thing to be mindful of is that your triggers should actually be re-entries a lot of the time I'm not saying every time of course um, situation dependent however with that said situation dependent you should always be looking at your exit points and where you can re-enter to capitalize on the up and down movements like as much as possible those deviation things so yeah really nuts trade though I mean to be fair like that's quite Quite a sick trade. Yeah, it's um, a great trade. So yeah, I'm very happy with that. So you're going to pump and, another 30%. Uh, you exit way too quick. Yeah, I guess I'll just Kidding. see what happens later not. in the day. That's it for his trade. Okay, see you on the next one, everybody.